Hello, I am Articash, the developer of Nexthooker. I'm here to show you how to create a read code for Nexthooker, which is a newly implemented feature that easily lets you extract text from games, even when Nexthooker is unable to find it automatically. This is much easier than creating an H code for AGTH. So to start, uh, the game we're going to be extracting text from is Kimi Tokanojo no, Tokanojo no Koi. And to start, we're going to, in next hooker, we're going to attach it. So this is the process for this game. All the software in this video, by the way, will be linked in the description. So we have attach next hooker, and you can click so that we can get some more text and see if next hooker can find it automatically. Most games, uh, next hooker is able to find it automatically, but Toto no uh, is a tough nut, so we're going to have to make a read code. <laughs> to make a read code, open your game in the cheat engine by clicking the top left and then opening the process that your game is. So we have that. And change value type to string. Then you can... There's a couple ways to do this. If you know the kanji, then you can just type them in. Uh, or otherwise... You can use OCR. I use capture to text, which of course that'll also be linked in the description. So, wait. Oh. so so we OCR the text, and I'll just. You only need a little bit. Make sure not to uh, use, if you're using OCR, don't type in white space or special characters like commas uh, because if they're like, if the OCR recognizes it differently, then it's actually typed in even just a tiny bit in a little screw up cheat engine. So I'll just use the first couple kana and kanji here. So this, copy that, paste it in and then scan for the text. So I'll click first scan. Uh, you then check UTF-16, click new scan, first scan, and then check code page, and new scan, first scan, and we see we found the text. You might also find it with uh, UTF-16 or nothing. It just depends on the game. So now we have these three, and we can click again. We see that the text here changes. You want to use a green address if you can. If there's not any green address, then a black one is fine. But a green address is probably going to be more reliable. So we see that the we see that the text changed. So we're all, we're about ready to make an, a read code. Now let's get rid of this. To make a read code, type in slash r. And then you want to type in either S, Q, or V. S is if you found it with code page. Q is if you found it with UTF-16. And V is if you found it with nothing. So I found it with code page, so I'm going to find it. Put in an S. And then type in 0, at. And then type in the address. So here the address I'm looking for is this. 5ADB32. So 5ADB32. Insert. Or whatever that button was. Uh, it inserts the hook. So now we can just go down to the drop down. We see that the text disappears. It has appeared here. And that's it. You'll see that when more text shows up, it's also going to be displayed here.